what's up? I'm so excited about this video because I did send out my AED, my automatic activation device, to the manufacturer for an upgrade and my rigger left me with my rig all opened up. So I thought it would be great to dive in together and see how everything works in a skydiving container. Ready? <laughs> It's Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better skydiver. So if you're new here, well, consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon not to miss any of our weekly videos. All right, so I'm super pumped to dive into my container with you guys, but first and foremost, I need to tell you a disclaimer. Never attempt to open your reserve canopy and try to repack everything without a rigger. Only a certified rigger can repack a reserve canopy. If you do have your own container open, you can of course take a look, but never try to repack everything. Never, never, never. And also I want to tell you to be careful with your reserve canopy and the reserve line. The certification process around a reserve canopy is very strict and you'll see that on the reserve risers, there's Velcro and if the Velcro touches the line of your reserve canopy, you can damage those and you might need to change your reserve lines or even your reserve canopy. So we don't want that to happen, so be careful manipulating your reserve canopy and all the other components. All right, so that being out of the way, let's dive in. Now let's dive into the meat. This is the secret place where only riggers usually get to play around. So I'm really excited to open that up and see what's inside and how it works. But first, let's take a look at the reserve canopy pilot chute. So this is interesting here because this is the reserve canopy pilot chute. And what we noticed right away is that it's actually a spring. I've been told to be careful with the spring, not to force it in any way so that it deforms itself. But this is the reserve canopy pilot chute and how it works is simply that the reserve closing pin is actually retaining the reserve pilot chute in its compressed position. So anytime we pull our reserve handle, the pilot chute will spring out of the container, giving it a kick to deploy your reserve canopy fast. So there it is. And if we continue with the reserve canopy bridle, which is pretty long, we are ending into the container. All right, so here's the interesting part. Now, I don't know all the details about how everything fits together, so stay with me here. I'm just curious about how everything seems to work, so do not take my word for granted if I think that something goes in a certain way. It might not be the case, I just want to have fun and check how it works inside a reserve container. Now, the first thing we can notice here is that we have the reserve closing pin here, and here we can see that's the RSL. If we open up here, we get to see where the RSL goes. We're gonna look at that later on. And the reserve rip cord actually is still on the reserve handle here. So that's the reserve rip cord that goes right here, I think. <laughs> That goes somewhere here so that whenever we pull it, whoop, we remove the reserve pin. Let's try to simulate what happens whenever we pull our reserve handle. So we get the pin removed from the reserve closing loop and then it opens like that. And actually, like I've seen here, pilot chute must be placed on top of flap number two. So I guess we're closing flap number one, then flap number two, and then comes the reserve pilot chute. So at this point, poof, we got the pilot chute popping out and it keeps opening because it's getting dragged out of the container by the reserve bridle. Now I need to be careful here with the reserve canopy not to break anything and not to wear anything. But an interesting thing that I had to ask my rigger about. I was wondering how the reserve closing loop, which is behind the reserve canopy, how they do manage to pull it out this direction. And the answer was that actually they pull out the reserve closing loop through the reserve canopy and through the reserve pallet chute. So that was pretty interesting to know. So I'm gonna be careful and remove the reserve canopy. 
here we can see the lines and there's some other lines here I guess oh we, we see them here and I need to say that my container is a uh, old vector 3 so maybe the new systems are kind of different all right so behind the reserve canopy this is what we see so like I was saying this is the reserve canopy closing loop so impressively it goes through the reserve canopy and the reserve pallet chute so um, it's it gotta be really tight once packed because it seems really short now I did say at the beginning of the video that my AED was sent to the manufacturer for an upgrade and so my rigger showed me where it was so you know we all get to see our AED on a small window behind our canopy or even in the back but for me it's right here so we see the little screen of the AED here and then if we follow here we can see kind of a routing this is where the cable of the AED goes all the way down to the bottom of the reserve container part where we can see the pocket here which is the pocket where we have the bigger part of the AAD and then the second end of the AAD where there's the cutter goes right here through this routing here and the cutter goes in here near the closing loop so that if something happens it cuts the closing loop now if we get back here we can take a look at the reserve canopy risers so here we can see that the links here are different than the main canopy ones which are soft links here made of a cord but here we see the stainless steel hardware and then we have the reserve canopy handles here which are like I said at the beginning covered with velcro so we got to be very careful not to touch them with our reserve canopy lines not to damage them and there's velcro as well underneath the actual handles here so when the reserve canopy gets deployed it pops out and then its risers pop out here as well like that all right so being here we can take a look at the RSL because the RSL is routed right here which is usually velcro as we can see or here and then it goes down right there where it's attached to our to the small ring I showed you earlier on one of the main canopy risers so this way when the main canopy goes out the RSL gets pulled all the way through the reserve canopy pin and do not worry my rigger will take care of packing back my reserve canopy so let's turn it around Good, so this is the other side we get to well I got to actually pull out my reserve canopy doing my emergency procedures and it was really fun to feel it was the first time I did it unfortunately I don't have it on video but actually let me show you one of my friend Jason Collins who did pop his own reserve canopy on video check it out Thanks Jason for that quick demonstration of what happens when you pop your reserve canopy. We did see perfectly the reserve pallet chute getting out with the spring effect, which is pretty effective to get it out of the container. And so this is the cutaway handle because it's attached to the reserve pin and it goes right here. Surely secured here on the right side we have the cutaway handle actually this one I made a mistake it's actually the reserve handle so this one cuts away the main canopy and this one pull, pulls the reserve pin so the reserve can come out the cutaway handle has two yellow cables here and they are meant to be routed this is the first one and the second one actually go all around the container here until here and their goal is to release the main canopy using the three ring system so let me show you how it all fits together so we have the big ring here the medium ring goes into the bigger one and then the smaller one goes into the medium one and then the loop here goes through the small one let me turn around so that you can better see at this point we have this other grommet that goes here and then the cable goes 
through that loop here and it's stored right here in the rest of the routing of the riser so this way your main canopy risers are attached to your container and if something happens so you pull your cutaway handle and the yellow cable will get out like that Boop. then release the loop here Boop. and this will make your main canopy go away pretty cool love how it works and the same applies on the other side as well and this is why both of the yellow cables are not the same length of course because one has to go through all the way around so that was an overview of how a container works i was curious myself about how every component fits together and how they work together so pretty satisfied with that i hope you are too all right so that was it i hope you've liked this video give it a thumbs up if so now let me know in the comments below what did impress you in this overview of your container and let me know also something that you didn't know about on that keep jumping stay safe and blue sky